to um, thanks for joining us here today if this is your first video with us we're so happy to have you uh, we're doing stuff a little bit different this week we're doing a huge purging in our house uh, it's end of summer for us we're going to start school in a couple of weeks uh, thankfully we're home school so we get to decide when we do that yeah. i think there's about five days that we're going to do a purging We'll, we'll see, life still has to happen. We still have some summer weather, not that you can tell at the moment. You'll see some of us are in like jeans and long sleeved and some of us are still in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. And yet in a couple of days, it's supposed to be warm enough to go back to the beach. So uh, we're gonna, life still is gonna happen. We've got some errands we have to do. Uh, but this, this first part of the video, we're getting set up and I'm gonna talk to you about how we're gonna do things and what our purging is gonna look like and see if that helps you guys out. How we do things on a regular day is we do an hour on and an hour off. So we start our morning, we do our breakfast and our morning routine, which which really on a week like this, we want to get a lot done and very simple. I don't even know if beds are gonna get made, to be honest with you. Uh, and then we get started. So we'll have a list of all the jobs that people are gonna do. And then we'll work for an hour and we set a timer and the other timer goes off and then we have a snack and we either watch a documentary or we play some video games. Uh, we just kind of goof off for an hour and then we get back at it again for an hour. It's really important to me when I'm working with the kids that they stay motivated and excited and encouraged. Otherwise, it's not really helpful. Is yeah. it? No. Like doing a whole day of just purging. Just, that would be tired. Well, yeah, and it should be fun. It's, it's kind of important and I want everybody to be on board. So we don't ever burn out. We, we do our hour. So usually when we do an hour on and an hour off plus meals, then we're done. We usually have done about three rounds until dinner. And then after dinner, we go out and do something. So either it's take stuff to donation, sometimes it's a trip to the dump, or we're trying to arrange with somebody to sell some stuff, or we just go play at the play park. And we go out every evening afterwards, and that's something to look forward to. And that helps people from burning out too. Yeah. And one of my other absolute rules is I never, ever, ever make somebody give something away that they're not ready to get rid of. So if they're uncertain, if they don't want to play with it now, for example, but they're not sure they want to give it away, then it goes into storage until another time, maybe when they're a little bit older or life has changed, and then they can make that decision. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in not having kids get rid of something until they're ready. I think if, we, if I force them to throw things away when they're not prepared for it, that it sets them up to become hoarders as adults. Once they move out on their own and there's nobody telling them what they can and can't keep, then they choose to keep and possess everything as a, as a balance from having adults in their life that were making those decisions for them when they were younger. So my kids are heavily involved in what we do and don't keep. So the, some of the things I have out today, let's see how we're going to get started. This is how I manage a family of six kids, is whiteboards. Hey. These. And whiteboard markers, my favorite whiteboard markers. And this tin. So every once in a while, like when we're on summer holidays and everybody's getting really bored, mom might fall out. That's it, I'm getting out the whiteboards. <laughs> But in all honesty, like through our school days and everything, this is what keeps us organized. If we have a big meal to put on or something, I can write out what we're making on the whiteboard and then kids can just erase them when we're packing for a holiday. This is what we use. So I'm gonna make up a couple of lists. I'm gonna make up how the day is gonna go and I'm gonna make up a list of all the different jobs to do. I'm gonna try and break them down into really, really small chunks. So, and then as we go, the, what you'll see is the boys are gonna have the freedom of just picking a job on the list that they want to do, because if they can decide what they're purging, they will also actually want to do it and then and we'll complain. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes at the end, on the last couple of days, there'll be a few jobs that nobody really wants to do and we'll just do them together. But otherwise, kids get to pick what they want. Um, and then the other thing I have that's really important is a cup of coffee and labels. And now why these are out, I, these make or break everything. Everything that leaves this house gets labeled. Every yes. single bag, sometimes we use white bags and sometimes we use black garbage bags. So the labels are for the black garbage bags. Uh, it must have a label on it, even if it's garbage, because you never, last thing we want to do is throw out a perfectly good bag of clothes or something that was supposed to go to donation, or worse, take a bag of garbage to donation. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything, everything, everything gets a label and that's pretty important around here when we've got lots of us purging around. Uh, the number one way that we're gonna be purging through our stuff is what we've labeled, we've titled 
the yes, no, maybe. Yeah, yes, no, maybe method. And it really helps the kids to get involved, but allows me the authority to review things at the end. And they're pretty good at it. So for example, they might do, say, the linen closet in the bathroom, and they'll load it all up and they'll bring it down to the kitchen table, and then they'll sort through things. Yes, we absolutely know we use these, like say toothpaste or hairspray or something. Um, the maybe is, I don't know. And the no is, mom, we've never used this. This was mine. I used it six months ago and I know I'm done with it. And they can split it up. So then it's really easy for me to walk up and scan each one of these sections and the maybe pile, I have to split where it goes. And, and I very rarely have to move an item and it makes it really, really efficient. So hopefully you'll be able to get a good tool for that. And then the other method we use is a purging line, something that belongs to everyone books is the primary example or craft supplies we look for games yeah we line everybody up and the pile starts at one end and then as anybody who wants to keep it gets to pull it out of the line and set it aside and then if nobody wanted to keep it by the time it gets to me at the end okay yeah sometimes i you know like if it's a dictionary for example <laughs> you keep the hidden yes yeah yeah not everybody has quite the same perspective as mom um, but, but it gives me a really good feel for what, what I may think is important and valuable to the kids and really they're like, mom, no, just, just no. Yeah. We're not doing cleaning. You may find over the course of these videos that the house actually gets messy, messy and that's okay. Uh, you can't, you can't do everything in a day. So we're not going to be mopping floors. We may or may not vacuum. Uh, the kitchen you'll probably see we'll keep on top of the dishwasher and we'll run it a lot as much as we can but we're not going to bother with the rest and when we're all done this week of purging then we'll go through from one end to the other and clean everything so then when we talk about the messy house and we talk about what we're how the house isn't really going to be maintained the one thing we do is we keep one room and it's this one where we spend the most of our time uh, this room will stay immaculate and, and we will constantly constantly be cleaning out we're actually going to go through one of the first things we're going to do is clean out anything that's even slightly cluttery and we're going to move it into the other room for now so that this room stays pristine now it uh, the kids are welcome to come and bring stuff in as they're sorting through and why that works is it can get really overwhelming when you're in a room that you're sorting through and it can feel really junky and really scattered it pays to load a bunch of stuff into a basket or a box and take it to a clean room and sort through it there and then move it back and it's just it, it helps mentally otherwise people really get overwhelmed. So this room will be for purging through things and sorting through their box and then cleaning out. And then at break time, it's always cleaned out so we can sit and watch something or play a game. And then at the end of the day, it will always be left immaculate for the next day. And just one room is what we maintain for this. And it gives us a peaceful, quiet place, a peaceful, clean, tidy place to come while the rest of the house kind of turns into chaos for these few days. Um, let's see, what else? We're doing outside backyard toys. A lot of what we're doing actually is because everybody's getting older. Uh, Benjamin is now five. He's going into kindergarten. Yes, we homeschool, but he just doesn't, he won't have quite the same level of free time to just play around only with toys. Emma's seven. Uh, so a lot of the stuff we have, we've just grown out of plain and simple. They just don't play with a lot of those toys anymore. And so we're gonna, we're, we're going to purge through a lot of those and decide which are our favorites that we want to keep. and. And get rid of the rest so a lot of backyard toys sandbox things like that uh what else and our toy room our toy room is a big big one so i'm gonna make up my list i'm gonna schedule the day uh andrea's schedule is gonna be a little bit different this week than the rest of us she works part-time and she's filming a lot so her schedule is going to be she's gonna be our food manager she's gonna make us a meal plan for the week and a grocery list for us and you know, she's gonna do that. So she's gonna own the food and she's gonna own the filming. And then she's not gonna be quite as involved in the purging this time around, except when she's needed. Uh, but see, there's also a day that we're supposed to go to the beach with some friends and there are some life, life still has to happen. So I think on that day, we'll do the basics of mow the lawn and stuff like that. that needs to happen as well.